Last week, I decided to put a ridiculous challenge onto my channel and for the Construct community to make a game only using two objects. Construct has a range of objects from keyboard, sprites, text to make your game design much easier. But what happens when you can only use two of them? I love these challenges because no sane person would ever make a game under these restrictions. However, I've got 10 people who've took up the challenge and think two objects are more than plenty. Hopefully you enjoy this video. This was really, really hard to judge. Before we look at the winners, let's have a look at the runners up and this will be in no particular order. We start with Inflate the Cake. This is a two player game where each player must take in turns pressing a random letter key on the keyboard. If they press the same key that's been pressed already, the cake explodes. It's a really fun party game and I had a blast playing this with friends. Next we have a maze game. What makes this more impressive is this is not really a game but a series of animations that covers every possible move you can make. I think this is a really really clever approach and I didn't spoil it until using the code. I really like the screen wrap puzzle element as well, I think it's not used enough and I think it works really really well. Click the Box is a really fun hyper casual game where the aim is to create new boxes to keep the main box up in the air. I'll tell you now this game is really addictive and I really hope that Yan expands upon this concept at a score counter because I want to be able to show that I'm better than all my friends at this game. This is on itch so if you want to try it for yourself it's in the description. Next game concept is simple, grab the white dot. However this is made much more difficult because every time you do grab a white dot an enemy spawns and the enemies go off the same keys that you do. So as you move to the right so that the enemies and if they touch you or the white dot, the game is over. Now my best score is 12, I've played this quite a lot, so please you can beat my score because you can check this out on itch as well in the description. Next is an endless runner that has so much charm. The way you jump is so satisfying, it's like being rocket propelled over to the other side and the random block sizes keep you on your toes. This game works really really well and remember all these games are made with just two objects. Next we have a fun arcade style shooter. Enemy spawning is absolutely fantastic, but the highlight for this is firing the gun and destroying enemies. It is so satisfying thanks to that camera effect that's been put in place. I felt really relaxed playing this game. It's a reasonable concept, but it's just executed so well. My final runner-up goes to Listener Games. This is a game where you've got to click the objects that are falling from the sky. If you click the red spikes, you lose a life. You've got to click the blue orbs, and you can gain some health back by clicking on the potion as well. The concept is really well executed, it looks fantastic, and I really recommend playing this on the phone because it works even better. More importantly, if you're really confused how any of these games are made with just two objects still, check out his channel in the description where he's gone through the process of making this game, and I think he does a really great way of explaining how you can make a game with just two objects. This to actually work was pretty simple. I created its own layer. I uh, just called it the UI layer. And if a sprite exists on this layer, it's going to be the health bar. If the sprite exists on the layer and your health is at 3, it's going to be health bar 3. You can also play the game in the description as well. Now we move to second place and I really went back and forth between where I should put these two. So at number 2 we have Burger Run. This is such a clever concept. You are a burger trying to reassemble itself. It is so well executed and so well designed. You no know, design is not in the scoring, but the animations, the overall design works so well. I think it's a worthy second place, very well earned. Five pound gift cards coming your way. Finally, we get to number one. Now this game feels like something that I could download off the Play Store and play 20 levels back to back. I've seen mechanics where you switch objects before in order to solve the level, but having the rotating maze as well just works so well. This game is such a blast to play and the designer was kind enough, he's made four short levels. It was really, really fun, really well executed, really enjoyable and I hope he continues this into a full game. Thank you to everybody who took part, it has been absolutely fantastic to go through these projects. I've really enjoyed it and if you want to take part in the next month's challenge, it's going to be more design focused. I want to switch between designing and programming, so subscribe to the channel to keep up to date. I'll be also taking submissions for the August Showcase. So if you're working on a game or you've just released a game and you want to show it off to the community, send a video or the file my way. Check the description if you want to find out more about the people who took part and play some of the games. 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.